guys, it's Miranda, and today I'm here to react to episode 4 of The Wild. This is going to be Tony's story, which I'm super interested to learn about. I'm interested to learn about like all their stories, basically, except I mean, maybe Nora's, but I feel like I probably basically already know Nora's. It would just be like seeing, I guess, her side of things with Rachel, so that could be interesting to see the other side. Tony is like one of those ones that I'm more intrigued to learn more about her because I think right now so much of her story has been just about not liking Shelby and Marty's relationship, which is, I don't know. I just feel like she's clearly jealous because it's like, but I think, I don't think it's Shelby necessarily. I think it's Martha's response to Shelby mostly because like they can hang out with the other girls and she's fine. It's just whenever like there was Shelby that she freaks out because I think she's scared she's going to lose her friend. <laughs> is that on record? Oh yeah, so okay, this is also the first episode with a time jump, so um, the three episodes thus far have been day one, day two, day three. This is day six now, I think, so like there's been some more time. Oh no, they're already left the cave. I thought the cave was kind of a good idea if they stayed like at the mouth of it, you know? Uh-oh. Oh, that's good that her ankle's better. I was really starting to worry about that, that they was going to get infected or something. I just don't want anyone else to die, you know? It's like, Jeanette was one thing, and now I'm scared. Batten, I mean, I gotta give her credit, she always looks bomb. Like, she literally is matching her bathing suit to her headband on a deserted island. It's amazing. Why is she falling in her clothes in the wall? Oh, I guess it's hot, because I was like, isn't she gonna be, like, really, really uncomfortable when she gets out? Why can't you all just share them? Like, why does some person- Oh my gosh, I have that coat too! Oh my gosh, I'm just like, want Batten's wardrobe. <laughs> oh, finally they're gonna build a shelter. Of course she is! This bitch does not want to build a shelter for anything! Thank you, Nora! Leo looks pissed. And it's only day six. Like, I- it's only day six in a sense, but like, Day six is a lot. It's just like, Leo looks like she's going crazy, and I don't say that lightly. See, thank you. I love how, like, they're slowly starting to point out, like, an investigator would not... Like, I guess in some sense they would want, like, all aspects of what happened, but I feel like they'd only want that if something happened. So maybe it's because Jeanette died, but she died on day one, so I don't think they would care if they were real investigators. Oh, yes! We get a montage? Frick, yes. Look at their game faces. <laughs> oh my gosh. That girl is one of the prettiest people I've ever seen in my life. Like, I can see why Tony is tripping over her. She also looks very much like this person that was, like, famous in, like, the, like, mid-2000s. Like, that I remember being in a lot of stuff I watched. And it's freaking me out because, like, it obviously can't be her because that was, like, 10, 15 years ago. She would be an adult now. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, I'm not offended by that at all. <laughs> okay, let's just skip. Why is Leah, like, busting out? Calm down, girl. Yeah, Leah, frick off. <laughs> I've been liking Leah less and less each episode. She just, like, picks someone to be ruthlessly mean to each episode and then just like does it. Aww. Get it, Tony. Get it. Like literally one of the most attractive people I've ever seen. I just realized it's probably the only episode we're gonna see. I think Nora full on realizes her strength and realizes that her sister prioritizes winning. Yikes. Oh, they're so cute! Okay, so clearly it doesn't work out with this girl and she had her heart broken, so why can't you bond with Leah about that? Probably because she was dating someone her own age! Oh, should I not homophobic assholes, please? She can't back down, can she? <laughs> Tony, I love you, but you are built like a stick. Like, I don't know how you can handle it against four, three fully grown men. Oh, she hit her. Shy. Yeah, now they take off. Like, woo, woo, woo. Oh, suck a new one. 
She said toothbrush? What? That's fair. That is very fair, Rachel. I can't even get mad at her because this would be my exact mindset there. <laughs> Screw off, Leah. What's yours? Being obsessed with a guy who dumped you because he's into high schoolers? Jeffrey's such a Persian name, too, I just realized. She's right. She she's right. In this I'm team fat in this. <laughs> Let go of her, you freaking weirdo. <gasps> oh, is she okay? I thought the stick was gonna be <laughs> Rachel's just like, well, this is what might as well happen. Screw you, Leah. She doesn't even look sorry for it. She's just like, well, that's what you get. Ooh, that's so gross. If even Rachel's like, this is too much, you know it's intense. Ugh, I'm sick of Leah's bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's just gonna go swimming in the ocean. Aren't they scared of sharks or and you got blood on your face? Big disgrace? Kicking your can all over the place? This is I'm she's got some undiagnosed mental illness. Like to be that calm after snapping. Yep, yep. I would say it nicer, but yeah. Oh and I'll ooh. And I don't even blame that because I'm sick of Leah's shit. I feel like she does have a mental illness. You know, I don't want to harp on that too much, but like, she needs the medicine. Uh, Tony wasn't there for that. What would she be? She's like, no, she's not fine. Leah hasn't been in control this whole damn time we've seen her. Yeah, thank you, Tony. Tony's like, well, what control do we have over our lives? Probably more con in control on this island than they've ever been in their entire lives because it's just them and themselves, you know? <laughs> Look at them square up. They're like, yeah, come at me, bro. Yeah, she just looks tired, Shelby. She's like, whatever. <laughs> yes, Shelby. Good job. I mean, that was a little rude, but... That's also fully fair. <laughs> She gets mad at the drop of a hat. She probably also needs a therapist. I think a lot of these girls just need a therapist, you know? Just like a healthy someone to talk to. Where's she gonna live now? Wasn't she living with her? I mean, that's awkward. That's a lot though to like live with someone like in high school too. Zero to 60 kind of relationships. Jeez. No, don't apologize. That was on her. Oh my God. Is she gonna break the window? Oh my gosh, Tony, that is not the way to prove that you don't have anger issues. Also, I hope the other one's shelter's working because she just destroyed their- Put the axe down, please. Oh no, they're cute flooring. Thank goodness, the only one that can actually make her stop. I was like, please put the axe down. Okay, it's not Shelby's fault you just popped a lid over like one little thing. Like we need healthy communication and coping techniques, okay? We cannot blow up like this and then just be like, sorry, your apologies don't cancel out your damage that you did and the hurt you caused. Yeah, it's kind of too little too late, Tony. Oh, poor Marty. How long has she been dealing with this for? I mean, good. It's hard to hear. It's true, but it's hard to hear. She's got to change her behavior. I think maybe it's just like they've been each other's friends for so long that like, I don't know, now having this friendship with Shelby, like she realizes it doesn't have to be so hard to be friends with someone. You don't constantly have to be picking up their messes. Oh, they are sharing them. Thank you. That's what they should have done from the start. Like I'm, if I'm on a deserted island, I'm not going to eat a bag of chips and then just have them watch me. That's so rude. I mean, she's right. I feel like she's obviously, this isn't her strong suit. So like she is providing the goods. She has to help a little, but I just feel like she has done stuff that, it's not like she's doing nothing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> For your own health, I like that. <laughs> you need to watch your, your own sake, call an ambulance, but not for me. 
Lee is so awful. Or accident, what accident? Your daughter is going even closer to the dark precipice. She's about to kill someone with her bare hands and then cover herself in their blood. Montana? I thought they thought she was in Hawaii. The end of the summer? I thought it was only two weeks. Wait, what's going on? Because, like, they don't they don't know that it cracked? I'm confused. Okay, that's fucked up. He could be gay. Like, let's not assume that. You should. I would be pissed if my parents did this to me. Especially with where I've ended up. Like, they didn't know this whole experiment thing was gonna go, but, like, I would never forgive them for this. Oh, no. What are they gonna do to Ian? Let me read his little things. Our sorrow file on Jeffrey, too, meaning that they full-on knew about Jeffrey before. They have his approximate IQ and his Myers-Briggs? What the frick? Potential intimate attachment confidence? What the frick? They have these on all the girls? That's so creepy. What are they gonna do to Ian? He seems like such a nice person. Even though he might be the one that sent the birth certificate. Oh, that is so sweet. She really is like, I'm sorry, but like in this friendship, it's like Marty contributing 70% and Tony's at a low 30 and dipping. So her and Fatten have now both just taken off into the night. That was a really interesting episode. I feel like much with dots, I like when they're concentrated around like one kind of particular story instead of like all over the place. Like I felt like Rachel's was kind of like bits and pieces that were like we knew the general story, but like the timeline I was kind of confused on. I feel like these more just like I guess I mean like in between times, like how long after this event was this event? When did this, you know, like I feel like Tony's and Dot's have been a lot more clear cut about like this happened, then this happened, then this happened. And I like that because I feel like it shows kind of you see the reflection and the parallel between like what kind of was holding them back in their life off the island and how it is still affecting them in some ways. And Tony's just gonna have to accept the fact that like she's gonna have other friends. And there's something about Shelby, I think that Shelby is just like the complete antithesis of Tony. Like she's got a good family, she's rich, she's well off, like there's all this stuff that I think Tony just like starts to see like better, better than me is going to take my friend away. She's just going to have to make peace with that though. Because like Shelby is not trying to replace her. She's literally like just trying to be Marty's friend. Like she's trying to be everyone else's friend. And I think her and Marty have the strongest bond out of everyone. So I don't know. We'll see. Just take a Xanax and chill girl. That's all I have to say. To Leah too. It's like, geez girl, just calm down. <laughs> so if you've seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down in the comments. Also make sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!